Hey, Bayside,ers it's me again, Dexter. Or you may know me as my character, Devante from Saved by the Bell. If you thought the Easter eggs and throwbacks from season one were amazing, this next season is going to knock it out of the max. I, I, I mean, Park. Keep your eyes open for all of the nostalgic moments in season two of the Peacock original series, Saved by the Bell. Let's get started. In episode one, the whole gang is back together to celebrate an old friend, Screech. This scene is rich with nostalgia. Max the Magician comes out with the Screech's Spaghetti Burger. This serves as a memorial for the actor who plays Screech, Dustin Diamond, who sadly passed away. They even bring out Kevin the Robot, a robot that Screech created in the original. You all remember how Slater used to wrestle in high school. Well, he started up a wrestling team in episode two and has some help from an old teammate, Moose. Mark Clayman is back, and this time as an assistant wrestling coach. Mr. Dewey's back this season as well, and he's as awkward as ever. In season two, episode three, he's the teacher who tells Daisy and Gilda, Stop being cute. Come on, Mr. Dewey. Another original cast member who's back this season is Matt Kaminsky. He drops in during episode five to deliver sand requisitions to Mac, who then forces Daisy to sign for each individual sand grain. Mac, why you gotta be like that? Not this time, Mac Morris. The cameos just keep on coming. The record producer that almost signed the girls to his label in the 90s is back, and this time he's ready to sign Devante. I may be biased, but he deserves it. We'll let you in on a little secret. That record producer is the show's executive producer, Franco Barrio. What's up, boss? Of course, our Easter eggs go beyond just cameos from our favorite classic characters. Flashback to the sweetheart dance where Zach tricked Kelly into being his date. Well, in the first episode of this new season, the sweetheart dance finally happens, and Lexi and Jamie even wear replicas of the hearts that Zach and the gang wore in the original series. You may have missed another small nod, but no need to worry, we got you. When Lexi says, You were smart to climb out the window when you did. That's a nod to how Zach used to climb into Jesse's bedroom window. Season two takes Easter eggs to the next level with this direct reference to the Zach tapes. The episode is even called The Mac Tapes. Zach must have mentioned that time he hit subliminal messages in the George Michael song, Don't Leave With Your Love, because Mac uses the same song to do the exact same thing. Oh, Mac, too bad you didn't learn from your father's mistakes. Later in the episode, when Jesse mentions Cut Day, she is referring to the episode from the original series, Cut Day, when she skipped a trip to the beach in order to protest styrofoam cups. Looks like this time she got to do both. Are these styrofoam? Yeah, is there a problem? Big problem, bub. And we'll let you in on another little secret. The restaurant that Slater takes Jesse to is the same location they filmed the original season four episode. Moving along to episode three, keep your eyes wide open. For starters, the episode title 1900 Crushed is the same name as an episode in the original. In the teen line scene, the students are using the same phone and poster design that the students used the first time around. We first did Teen Line back in the 90s. And fortunately, my old mentor, Richard Belding, left me the training manual. The Bayside versus Valley rivalry is still going strong. And it's obvious Mac has learned the ropes from Zach. He infiltrates Valley as a fake student and even steals their mascot, like father, like son. Slater has always worked on his physical strength, but now he's focusing more on his mental muscles by going to counseling where he realizes some shocking details. Like the fact that he had a mother who was... Mentioned once. I think I had a mom. And how about that time Slater had a sister that we never saw again? Yeah, he figures that out too. Hmm, interesting. And no one ever talked about it. Slater acknowledging his forgotten family isn't the only time a character breaks the fourth wall this season. No, no, come on, not the fantasy border. Now that Lisa's around more often, we get to enjoy her great fashion sense. The green jacket she's wearing in episode six? Yeah, that's a nod to all of the lime color outfits she wore in high school. And that's not the only time Miss Turtle brings back the iconic 90s styles. Peep Jesse and Kelly's high school outfits on Lisa's mannequins. Wait, I did wear this in high school. If you're watching the career episode and think you're seeing double, it's because you are. All of the signs were directly inspired to match the career day Zach and his friends went to in there. Did you catch when Slater said, I didn't even learn Spanish until the college years. You mean when you were in college? Yeah, the college years. And these are the high school years. That's how everyone says it. No. 
That was a blatant reference to Saved by the Bell, the college years. This season, we get a lot of Kelly throwbacks, like the time that Kelly took a trip to Paris with some random photographer. He took me to Paris for one month. <laughs> it was cool. Looks like she still has fond memories of that trip. Speaking of trips, Kelly talks about that time when she gave up her prestigious semester at sea to marry Zach. I love you and I want to marry you now. And she realizes that maybe it wasn't the best decision. If fate didn't make the decision, then who did? My dumbass? In episode nine, we get a nod to Kelly and Zach's breakup with a new breakup at the same table. The table isn't the only thing these scenes have in common. Daisy and Gil, if that's even his real name, have the last dance, just like Zach and Kelly did after their breakup. Now, I'm sure you noticed that Jesse and Slater kissed at the end of episode nine. Well, in episode 10, they have a series of flashbacks that actually features the same set from the college years dorm room. This episode also showcases one of the most important things in Saved by the Bell history, the spirit competition between Valley and Bayside. This competition features tests of physical strength and agility that mirrors an episode from the classic series. Time out. Time in. Looks like it's time to say goodbye, but did you spot any other Easter eggs and throwbacks? Let us know in the comments. Watch the all new season of Saved by the Bell streaming now on Peacock. Man, I love this school.